The beach front is closed until further notice. Imagine standing in the middle of Times Square where I have two businesses. We're gonna close the beach and I said, you know what? I'm also closing my businesses. My whole theme through that became hope is a strategy. We have valued everyone who comes through that door. This is their first stop. It's not just a t-shirt store. It's the store I love the most. And I love it because there's so much of my family in that business. Um, in those four walls. It's wonderful to see people coming in. And I love waking up every morning and coming to work because I know I'm going to see a new person, help a new person. That's what I get excited about. Good morning. So every day, just talking to the people, coming to work, just knowing that I can look out at the beach. Everybody who comes in, they're happy. They're on vacation, they're sharing their stories. They share their stories of coming here, like the patches. And it started with one patch from Chicago. A young man was in here and kept looking around and looking around. They've been in the store, they see all the police patches and then they mail us one in. And there's always a little story about, you know, my my uncle was there and he loved this and he, we bought a t-shirt and he wants you to have his patch. You always find that spot that's like, oh, I can't wait to go there. And I think the Pier Peddler is one of those spots for people. A piece of living history. The B-25 Mitchell first took flight in 1941, taking missions in both theaters of World War II. The bomber might be best known for taking part in Doolittle's raid, when Army bombers took off Navy carriers to bomb Tokyo after the attack on Pearl Harbor. They were all volunteers. Every one of them knew it was going to be a one-way trip. They didn't know how they were going to land, where they're going to land, whether they were going to be alive. Pilot Tom Ewing says without these brave pilots, the outcome of the war might have been much different, changing Japan's whole war strategy. They knew they were vulnerable, so they, had to, they held back four fighter groups that otherwise would have gone out in the Pacific taking more and more territory. They had to d extend their defensive perimeter, and they extended it all the way to this place called Midway. EAA is sharing this Flying History Museum with the public through the weekend at Punta Gorda, something Ewing says honors the World War II pilots that flew before him. While the B-25 is flying in the skies above, down below, volunteers are working another plane, one of the last flying B-17s. Ewing says without the folks here in Punta Gorda, that plane might have never flown again. When that happens, every one of these airplanes will eventually not be able to fly anymore. They'll go in a museum. When that happens, the only history that anybody's going to know about these airplanes is what you can put on a small display sign in front of them. Ewing says the B-17 will take about a year to restore here in Punta Gorda, but when it flies again, there will not be a dry eye in sight, knowing how much work went into it. In Punta Gorda, Andrew Shipley, Fox 4. The branches of Victoria Woods' life all seem to stem from one place. I love teaching. Hi, Mrs. Woods. My mom is going to be sending you an email. It's a shared emotion by her students and a passion she fears will be taken away if she doesn't earn her professional teaching certificate in time. And if I don't pass them, I don't have a job. Going back and forth. A hard forth. deadline to meet for Victoria Woods. In 2017, doctors diagnosed her with lupus, a disease that causes her immune system to attack her organs and tissues. Everything takes me longer with that. That's a debilitating disease in and of itself. Um, but I didn't know I was going to get cancer. Yes, a breast cancer fight now turns her struggles to finish the required coursework into what Victoria says can feel like an impossible feat. This last time, I missed it. I couldn't even stand. I was trying to get there and my husband was like, you can't even stand up, are you going to take a three hour test? You know, so I, it, I, could, I, I, I did it, I missed it. And so that was frustrating because I'm like, oh. Um. Frustrated, she says that she may never get to run her cheer club again. Frustrated that despite being recognized for her excellence in the classroom, she would not be granted an extension. I'm in chemo, I just had chemo yesterday. So I'm gonna have some really bad days. Victoria says it was while she was battling with cancer, working to get back to her students, that she first saw our story with Samantha, a teacher who at the time had just started a petition demanding that the state change how teachers are certified. Right after we had the first conversation, had a pretty big boom. And Samantha Zukowski, a teacher at South Fort Myers High School. 
Her petition asked the state to allow extensions for teachers who can prove they're actively working towards their certification. Teachers like Victoria Woods. If we collectively put these things together, it's not just like me trying to run a charge, it's like a lot of really smart, dedicated educators. Back at Mariner, Woods says she continues to study and has about six weeks to complete her final two assignments, a finish line she is unsure she can reach given her life battle. I don't understand these hurdles to stop me from doing what I love to do. I mean, make it reasonable. He's kind of a special person. Bobby tries to decompress by painting. I've always felt like I could do anything I put my mind to. He has a uh, handicap. I have uh, a disease called Stargardt's that has made him unable to drive for 15 years now. It's hereditary. But he still manages to do things around the house that are like um, amazing. It usually starts at a fairly young age. My friends marvel at, at him. For me, it's just uh, a nuisance. They say, I don't believe he's really blind. I can't believe it. And I try to work around it. I really didn't have any structural idea of what I wanted to paint or anything like that. I just decided I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint things that I like and I wanted to paint uh, pictures that I thought other people would like. He's interesting and his art is amazing. People just look at it and because this is where he has put all his energy. He sounds like a fighter. He is a fighter. He, he is, oh, that, that's a, a definite description of him, absolutely. One of our uh, tests is, what does it look like through the kitchen window? <laughs> I think he's great.